The Liberals had eight years to learn from their mistakes. Instead, they doubled down on failure. In their fall economic statement, they promised a staggering $20 billion in new spending, further fueling inflation and economic instability. What the Liberals know but won't tell you is the more they spend, the higher the inflation, the higher the interest rates. He has announced $100 billion of additional debt above and beyond having doubled that debt in the first place. With $900 billion in mortgages coming up for renewal over the next three years, we face a real threat of widespread foreclosures. Are the Liberals trying to cause a mortgage meltdown? Because they sure aren't doing anything to stop it. We're already spending $46.5 billion this year alone just to service the federal debt. And they figure, sure, well, why not another $20 billion in new inflationary spending? And then they go around talking about fiscal restraint? Come on! Well, we are a government that has always exercised fiscal restraint. It's almost like they think the budget will balance itself. Well, maybe they just don't think about monetary policy. The fact of the matter is, Canadians are struggling. 2 million food bank visits in a single month. Their policies are forcing people to choose between heating and eating. And if they had a shred of compassion, they'd carve out the tax on food and home heating today, but they'd rather quadruple it instead. One thing is clear, Canadians have lost confidence in this government. This is why I am voting non-confidence. This is why all common sense conservatives are voting non-confidence. I urge the NDP and the Bloc to stop propping up this reckless government. Stand with Canadians who desperately need change. Stand with Conservatives and vote non-confidence. Justin Trudeau is not worth the cost.